You know the rules, and so do I. Don't say oh, don't say wow, don't make an O shape with your mouth, something that I am all too familiar with. <laughs> don't gasp in surprise and, and don't have any big eye responses. You can't have none of those things. No enjoyment in this house to win a challenge. Here we go. You're jacking off salt. You're jacking off salt, that's what you're doing. Oh, fuck! Why am I so bad at everything I do? I'm trying to stay calm and sultry, but I'm earnestly so triggered right now. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Jerk off that salt. Did you? She didn't even realize she was jerking off the salt. It was just giving her brain the good scratches. Sometimes you just gotta jerk off things around you to feel better. Take that as you will, man. Listen, I fidget a lot. If I was caught doing that, do you think I could say that I was just fidgeting? Or do you think people would look at that and be like, what is she looking at on her phone? You know, whatever you're doing, girl, whether you're just a fidgety individual or you were looking at something, that's, that's really bad. That's really awful. Lordy, no, you have to stop. You have to just leave it. Lordy, no. There are so many problems here. There are so many problems with what has happened. You need to leave the restaurant right now. You need to go home. You can't now be seen in public like this. You should have kept the ink where it was. You've made a much greater problem for yourself in a lot of ways. You ain't gonna catch me getting inked on because I will not be eating that. I eat a lot of seafood. That is not gonna be one of them. Especially one that hasn't been prepared beforehand. There's no way. I feel like that's probably really, really difficult to get off your face. And the fact that you have to now leave that restaurant looking like that, I hope to God you don't have public transportation that you have to take in order to get home because that looks real, real bad. Honestly, you shouldn't have smudged it. You could have just like gone with it. You could have fucking like, this is it. This is the fit. This is the vibe. I'm doing a new makeup trend and maybe, who knows, it'll catch on and everyone's just like spraying their fa face with like ink looking like things and being like, yeah, my makeup for the day. Oh, I'm fine. It's just that life <gasps> yes. is pointless and nothing matters. I think I gasped out of excitement for Parks and Recreation because Parks and Recreation is my favorite show. But gasping's against the rule. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. It's just that life is pointless and nothing matters and I'm always tired. Also, I can't sleep. I'm overeating. None of my old hobbies interest me. No big deal. <laughs> I feel that on a spiritual level. There are days where life is great, not even just about work. Like that's not a work thing. I feel like this on a spiritual level where I enjoy life nine times out of 10. And then the, the 10th day is when I wake up and that is my mood about everything. Everything's pointless and we're all going to die someday. You know, it, it's just one of those moods. Not that I say that I give that answer all the time, but when one little inconvenient thing happens in my life, I feel the need to say things like that. And then I typically do finger guns or I dab and then moving on with the conversation to make it less heavy. I do that often. What the fuck is... Please stop. I'm extremely uncomfortable. I'd like to leave. It keeps getting worse. Please stop. I have a lot of questions. This is so strange, and I like it so much. This is one of those examples of how AR art is fucking ham wild. And can be really cool. This is the worst thing I've seen on the internet. Oh, the feet chin. I didn't like the toes. The toes was one step too far. Thank you for taking these old ladies and turning them into horror beauty art. And I hope the old ladies in your life are kind to you. Are you trying to eat old ladies? There's a lot of food scenarios going on there. Are you secretly trying to eat old women? This makes me concerned. That was a lot for my noggin. Kind of cool though, but kind of unsettling all at the same time. You know, like nothing like creepy, but like the smushed face with the things sticking out of it made me feel a little uncomfy. I have actual tears. That was horrifying. What the fuck, dog? 
Who's out here making this? Why did you make it? If you didn't make money and you just made that to make that, seek legal counsel for something. I meant therapy, but legal counsel's good too because I'm gonna sue you for emotional distress, okay? The gaping mouth hole, the feet chin, it's gonna live in my nightmares. So thank you for that. That's a wood. Hi, Skyrim music, that is a wood. When I said that is a wood, I meant it. And I meant it in a way that you didn't expect. I also love just the, the hint of, of Elder Scrolls. Everything could use a hint of Elder Scrolls in your life. Tree. Is that Groot's penis? Was that Groot's penis? Or is he just like trying to climb Groot? Which like is also a sexual thing because you know you can say like I'm gonna go climb a tall man. Does Groot have a pee pee? No, because Groot is a tree. Trees don't have pee pees. That's a, that's a thing to ponder, you know? Cause like ants and things like that, they're, they're, they're like beings, but they're trees. So they should act exactly like trees and have all the same things as trees, but, the, but they also have a face and they can talk and they can do all this other stuff. So like, makes you think. Like if I was trying to arouse a tree, stay with me, okay? If I was trying to arouse a tree, what do I do? Do you just pet the tree? <laughs> I gotta stop. I don't arouse trees. I like trees, but I don't, I'm not sexually attracted to trees. Could you imagine? I know, I know there's people out there that are. Like, there are people out in the world that are sexually attracted to certain objects and things. But, like, I'm not one of them. The most I'll ever do is hug a tree. No more than that. This just took a weird turn. I'm gonna keep going forward. I like people the way I like my tea. All right. In a bag underwater. It's a good joke. I like people the way I like my tea. Uh, hot and steamy? In a bag underwater. Oh, less steamy, more dead. I hear some people are into that. Just like the eating grandma's thing, I think this could be a problem, but like, th that's up to you and your god and your therapist and, the, and your murders. Someone go check on her. You know, I don't have to be creepy about it, but you know, maybe after she gets off of work, maybe like follow her and see if she's doing anything suspicious. You call the police and just like have them monitor her for no reason, just to make sure. You see the final seconds ticking off the clock here in the opening round, it has been back and you forth. You're just punching each other's butts. You see the final seconds ticking off the Punch clock here in the opening round. It has been back and forth. Maybe a little Punching pressure the on the neck there yeah, from almost the like season a season. Punching the ass. Punching the ass. For what? For entertainment. For you. I don't really know how you start watching that. Because that doesn't seem like MMA. They were wearing different outfits. I don't really know where you find that kind of content, but um, it's for you. You're welcome. Could I be a wrestler? Could I be in like anything that requires fighting, boxing, wrestling, whatever it may be? Because sometimes I see clips from things and I go, you know, that doesn't look too bad. Maddie, you want to learn something about wrestling? I can teach you all the wrestling moves I learned from when I was on the wrestling team and they'll be totally normal and none of them will be weird. Did you know that in Greco-Roman wrestling, you actually have to take off all your clothes and oil up? It's, it's traditional. The Greeks were crazy about it. Hello. Your son's You'll been removed from the equation. <laughs> That's so fucked up in every way. <laughs> That's a really, really simple way to let someone know. Your family just got a lot smaller today. Let me have your sticker, please. No stickers for you, madam. Is my son okay? Is our son okay? No. Not, that one anymore. Not the sticker. Not the sticker. I hate those stickers. I hate the family stick figure. These are all the people in my family on the back. I'm like, why? There are so many stickers you can put on the back of your car. Why that one? Like, I would even prefer one that was just about your dog. The stick figure family one. Like, come on. Get some other funny ones or fun ones or show how nerdy you are, you know? But like, the stick figure family, why? Personal feelings though. Why are we back here? What is with these weird AI? I hate it. Oh, mm, I didn't say it. You said it. That was not me. There's a ghost here. Obviously, it was the ghost that was saying things. It was definitely me. It was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
No! I just escaped this hellhole! Why more AI are old ladies? I'm so upset! The mo- Stop! I just- it makes- uh, it, 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 uh, it makes me- it makes me uncomfy. No. No, see, see, no, 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 no. I don't know what it is. Penis fingered mushrooms. I'm so upset. Stop stroking the mush. I don't want to be here. It's a textural nightmare. Eyeball button hand buttons. <gasps> buttons and buttons. Cat. Thumb. Cat. Thumb. Cat! It's cool and weird, and I like weird things, but this is somehow uncomfy to me. Oh, see, mm -mm. <laughs> What is happening? This is so long. So many eyeballs! <laughs> These are so weird! I'm gonna start treating the things I don't understand, like those quizzes where you hold, like, inkblot tets, where I'm just gonna spout the first words that come to mind and hope that it's beneficial and that I'm not a serial killer? I don't think I'm a serial killer. Challenge, attempt the following activity, record and submit to the editor. The prize, two fails deducted? Wait, 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 I can have redemption for my gasp? I need this, okay, what do I gotta do? We just gotta kiss each other's cheek without kissing. I'm telling them right now, they're downstairs. I'm on my way to kiss their cheekums. Okay, Maddie's wearing a mask because she has bronchitis. <laughs> and we're not getting bronchitis. We're not getting bronchitis. But we are gonna not how do we kiss we, each here other. We go. Okay. Someone's gotta, we gotta start. Like, we gotta like... <laughs> okay, wait, 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 we are gonna kiss time! I think you guys already kissed. You gotta like do this. Yeah, but we gotta go It has slow. to be a pattern. It starts slow, it starts okay. slow. Okay, ready? Mm. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh, the feet chin. Oh. No. Where is your body? Why are you grabbing her taint? That taint grab does not feel stable. Pussy power! How are you? Oh, your legs are. You just grabbing her vagina? Uh -uh. That's an mm -mm. immediate no. Hard pass. Do not pass go. He fully like grabbed her cooch. Like put weight on her coochie. That's wild. Wild behavior. Wild. I've seen these this. funny looking things here. Are the beehive. They're for jar. shampoo. And the interesting thing about these things is that you can actually use them as a natural shampoo. Yeah, so but they're like so weird and jizzy. You fucking stroke them off and get all their jizz on your hands and you then you're like, perfect, I have soap now. If you're not double stroking it, what are you doing? I do know that that is a natural shampoo. That guy just like rubbed it through his hair and barely did anything with it. But it is a natural shampoo and you're gonna mix it with other stuff and it's really good for you. But the act of doing it and the plant itself is really, it's really jizzy. Big dick jizzy action happening for a natural shampoo. But I hear it has great benefits. The strawberries taste like strawberries. The snozberries taste like snozberries. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. These carrots taste musky. Yeah. <gasps> Not the glory hole. Yeah. Yeah. These carrots taste musky. Yeah. Oh, the damn no. Oompa Loompas. Not the Oompa Loompa glory hole. Though that might be better than the failed Willy Wonka experience that has just shown up on the internet recently. I don't think I would go to an Oompa Loompa glory hole. I'm, I'm not opting in. I know I've seen that clip before. Cause I used to watch a lot of Robot Chicken. I understand, but like, all of the things on the wallpaper are clearly like fruit fruit-esque things and you say, ooh, carrot, that's sticking out of the wall. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. I love robot chicken. I miss robot chicken.
I love Adult Swim. Maybe I love Oompa Loompa Dick. I don't know. I'll never know, unfortunately. Hmm. <sighs> ah, look, Greco-Roman wrestling. Yeah. This is, this is what it's like. You gotta get naked and oil yourself up. Aren't y'all supposed to be wearing cups? Why did not wear cups, you know? You gotta be safe. You got a lot of junk in the trunk though. I'm a little, I'm very jealous of the junk in the trunk. Could I get some of that? Aren't you supposed to be wearing cups though? To make sure that you don't fuck up your baby making doohickey? Obviously zero fucks were given. Or maybe it was like a weird recipe. I would just keep the cup on. Just keep the cup on. I love a good strappy little shoe. You're buff. You are a buff mommy. Okay, bitch. Oh my God. Lift my ass and throw me places. Pick me up, mommy. Holy shit. Hey, my name is Alicia. I don't go to the gym as often as I'd like to, but you make me feel better about myself because beefy girls are beautiful too. They're beautiful. You made me blush. If I just get a little more definition, just a little bit, I could be like kind of like that where I'm beautiful, but I'm also fucking muscly as shit and I could fuck your shit up. How do you feel about me? Are you turned on? You should be, but you should also just be scared of me all this. Are you scroused? Scared and aroused? Scroused? Could be me. Watch out world. What the fuck? What? Hello? You're morphing into 45 things. Sexy woman. Oh, break it down, sexy scary woman. Alien, 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 leg, dog, ma'am, woman, alien, woman, sexy, ooh, work it, alien, dog, woman, guitar. Yeah. <laughs> See? Just ink blot tests. We got a lot of these like AI generated situations. This one's really cool though. It was the weird old grandma one that I just was not vibing with. This one was just cool. More of that. Yeah, I just failed. Why can't I have that? Why? Why did God do this to me? All I want is big old massive jiggly titties. Is this Alicia? Is Alicia a DJ now? Or Sydney? Either one. This is wild. Those are some honkers, my lady. Those are some honkers and a not very well supported bra. She's gonna hurt in the morning. I know that feel. As someone who knows how to wear a very good supportive bra, when you got bahonkamonkas and you you go for a run, you have to wear a sports bra because the bounce, it hurts so bad. The dynamic inertia of the titties is not fun. It's fun in the bedroom. Only time it's fun. It sucks the rest of the world all the time. Bahonkamongas are not fun. They are fun, but they're not, you know? It's a pros and cons situation. There are trade-offs to big bahongamongas. Oh, yeah. oh my. I failed instantly, but then I realized I just have no idea if I ever failed again. Not really sure. Not sure at all. I did indeed fail this one. A lot of this was upsetting. I'm gonna be thinking about that weird AI grandma thing for a while though now. And that's not what I want in my head. So I need to go like bleach, bleach my brain a little bit. Thank you so much for watching another Don't Oh or Wow challenge. If you failed, leave it in the comments. If you say you didn't fail, fail. I don't believe you. You can't convince me because you're somebody on the internet that I, I have no idea if you failed because I wasn't in the room with you. I'm just gonna assume that everybody that watched this video failed. If you want to actually get to know our personalities and how our days are going and shit, go to Twitch. Say, hey, I heard that I can get to know you from YouTube. And I'll be like, hey, here's how my day's going. Or I'll tell you my favorite color. I'm wearing it. I'll tell you something else. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta leave. Bye! Mm.